I feel like I have to make this video for my fellow girlies out there who have painful periods. I don't know if I have endometriosis or not because I've never been um, like properly tested or diagnosed and I know that you can only be diagnosed if you have a surgical exploration. But I suspected that I have endometriosis my whole life because ever since I got my period at the age of 13, my periods have been excruciating, um, debilitating. Those are, it just feels like understated. I think I was having labor pains when I was having my period every time and I would be out of, out of order, out of service, out of breath. I couldn't fucking breathe. Um, starting from the very first time that I ever got my period, I, I felt like my life was over because it was so painful. Um, I could not stand up. I couldn't walk from like classroom to classroom. So if I got it when I was at school, I would go to the nurses um, station and I would tell them that I have a migraine because I was too embarrassed to say that I was having period cramps. I don't know why, but anything that has to do with women's reproductive system feel, felt very taboo at the time. And I just was embarrassed to admit that it was period pain. So I just kept saying, I have a headache and uh, they would give me some medicine and let me sleep and yeah by the end of that year they thought i have migraines um because i was like every month you know going to the nurses because i just couldn't function and then I, I wouldn't go to school the next day so when i first got my period i was they were giving me buscopan which is not ibuprofen it's just m meant for cramps and it was doing fuck all so i was really really suffering the first few years that i was getting my period and the problem with that was I would tell my parents, like I would tell my mom that it was really, really painful. And all she would tell me was, oh, tough luck. Like, I was like that too. It'll get better when you have kids. And in my head, I knew I was never going to have kids. So I was like, tough luck. Like, fuck me. <laughs> you know, like, I'm not going to, sorry. But like, I'm, this is never going to end. Like, this is never going to go away. I, I wanted to rip my internal organs out and I always thought that oh maybe if I get a total hysterectomy like take get everything taken out I'm not gonna have pain anymore maybe that would work um, and I did more research on that but if you actually have endometriosis there's a chance even if you get a total hysterectomy that you still have pain and I was like what but you're not having your period how can you have pain but apparently there's a way that you could still have complications and pain afterwards so even that's not a full solution but anyway i'm getting ahead of myself well the first time i used ibuprofen it was like a godsend miracle drug because it was the first time that a painkiller actually took the pain away <laughs> um and i was like where was this the entire time um so i was like always taking them but as you know your body builds up a, a tolerance to those and you know over the years I've had to take more and more and more and more a couple of months ago I think I had the worst period of my entire life in terms of pain um, it was so bad that I think I took about um, I think I took around like 10 extra strength ibuprofen tablets which is 400 milligrams so that's like reaching the upper limit within two or three days. That's reaching the upper limit of how much you can take. And it wasn't taking the pain away. It was just dulling it so that I could survive. <laughs> Making the pain bearable, but it was still painful. And at that point, I, like, I came to this crossroads of like, I can't survive this any longer. This is getting worse. I pretty much was certain that I have endometriosis and that if I went for a surgical intervention that it wasn't gonna fix it because there is no cure. That's the sad part, there's no cure for endometriosis. I don't know if it's been not studied enough or what, but um, the prognosis is like really sad, depressing. And like I was watching vlogs of people that have total hysterectomies and how sometimes the pain comes back. That's when I think I was sent this, um, I think this was a godsend that I found this thing that I'm about to show you that um, because I was really getting to the end of my rope and like losing hope that this would ever ever get better but I stumbled across this 
It's called Chasta Tree. Um, and this is a tincture, but they also come in pill form. So I'll show you what this is. Okay, it's Chasta Tree. It's also called Chasta Berry, Vitex. Like those are all, it's the same thing. It's the, the extract from a tree. And it promotes your body creating progesterone. And look, I'm not an expert on hormones, but from what I know, a lot of the symptoms, a lot of the pain, a lot of like the heavy, clotted, painful periods, a lot of that could be related to estrogen dominance, meaning that you have way too much estrogen and it's what's causing those heavy, 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 painful, um, crampy periods. Um, and there's science to back that up, but I don't know if there's science connects endometriosis to all of that. I think it should because I think there's a correlation. But anyway, the reason why a lot of us suffer with estrogen dominance is because we're not just having the estrogen that our own body creates. We're also taking in estrogen in the form of like synthetic estrogens or like phytoestrogens. So many things in our environment have estrogen and our body like can't tell the difference. So like things like soy products, fragrances, um, anything with a fragrance, pesticides. So like there's so much um, estrogenic pollution around us that the body can't tell the difference and it basically messes up our hormones. That's what I've been able to figure out from my research. And what this does is because it raises, helps raise the progesterone it's basically what birth control pills do, by the way. When you go to the doctor and you say, I have painful cramps, the first thing they say is, let's put you on birth control because it's gonna, you know, take that down a notch. But I don't wanna be on hormonal birth control because it has so many other side effects. So anyway, I've been using this for three months. I started it right after this immensely painful period. The first time I had my period after that, like the first month of using, I think I had a period around the same pain level as my first ever period when I was 13. So like, it went down three notches, you know? I could take the ibuprofen and it was actually taking the pain away. So I was like, wow, that's a... Uh, even if it's like, that's all it's gonna do, I'm happy with that because it's already like, it made it bearable, you know? It made it like, I can survive it. And the next month, I got my period there was no pain um so that took me by surprise my period was like longer than usual but i think that's normal because it's actually affecting my hormones so irregular periods are kind of a side effect of that but i was fine with it because even if, though i had a really long period it was like two weeks um there was no pain so i was like okay i can take this it's just fine and then the third period after that I've been taking it like this month, no pain, and it lasted as usual, seven days. And I'm thinking now, this is not a coincidence. Like, this is actually fucking working. Not only is it working, it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do, um, which is like, I'm still getting my periods, but like without the pain. And so I just, I just felt compelled to share this with everybody and to share my testimonial. It doesn't have to be this brand. It doesn't have to be in tincture form. It could be pills. You can get it in whatever form you can find it. Just, it's just this tree. <laughs> it's this tree. I can't, I can't get over that it's just a tree. Like it's a plant and it, it's fixing me. It's fixing something that I thought was unfixable. Um, and it just made me realize how, how, how bad it was. Um, my entire life up until this point like how bad it really was and how sick I actually was or how out of whack my hormones were like that entire time and how much of that is due to environmental pollution and like the estrogens that you take in from outside that your body can't tell the difference of give this a try share this video i never ask people to share my videos but like share this video if you know somebody who's suffering um share it with them share this information with them don't keep it to yourself because if only i knew about this back when i first got my period and it was 
that painful. Like I could have saved myself years and years and years of pain and suffering. So that's why I want to like share this information and hopefully it reaches the right people. Hopefully it reaches who it's supposed to reach. So that's why um, please share it if you know somebody who really suffers from period cramps. I've had basically no side effects. At first it was giving me a bit of like a weird dizzy feeling when I was first taking it. So I took my dose down and then it was fine and then I built my dose up over the next few weeks like I started with half as much as they recommend and then I built it up to what they recommend and now I have no problems with like that headachey feeling I don't get any any weird effects from it and yeah I haven't I haven't noticed any other side effects so like this is just my experience with it but I'm hoping this can help somebody else who is relating to what I'm saying. So, yeah. I would urge you to do your own research, obviously, but like the fact that this is not a synthetic drug or hormone, it gives me a lot of confidence that this is actually safe and effective and is doing what it needs to do in our bodies. Um, I hope this becomes like more common knowledge. I'm so grateful that I found this thing. Uh, I couldn't have imagined that I wouldn't be having pain with my period. You know, the last time I got it, I didn't even notice that I got it, which hasn't happened pretty much ever because I'm always warned for like three days before my period with pain. So I always know it's coming because it's warning me. And then once it arrives, it's like a lot. So like, there's no way I could have gotten it without noticing that I got it, you know? So, I don't know. I, I think this is fixing me. I think this is fixing whatever the problem was. I think this is making me more like normal. And if I did or do have endometriosis, I think this has the potential to actually heal or reverse that. So yeah, anyway, do your own research. Hope this helps. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.